every now and then, a product will come along which completely exceeds my expectations and sets the bar for every other product that I own. Al Zanarak from Weatherwool has done just that. Welcome, I'm Carl Murawski, and this is the channel that helps you own less and own better. For a long time now, you all have been asking me to cover weather wool, and I've heard so many stories which honestly almost seemed like a little bit of fantasy or maybe people who are justifying the high purchase price. And it wasn't until I tried this piece that I understood why they have the rabid following that they do. Really amazing stuff. We're gonna go through this thing from tip to tail and hopefully not miss anything in between, especially because I've been wearing this since, uh, for about the last six months. So I have a pretty good runway to tell you all about it. Let's dive in. Wool is basically nature's miracle fabric. It's far stronger, warmer, and water resistant than cotton. It's antimicrobial, silent, and fire resistant. There is no man-made material which can hold a candle to wool. And even if they did, it wouldn't catch on fire. And that's why the fabric appears so frequently on this channel. But Weatherwool's fabric is unique. Weatherwool spent three years developing their wool, creating some of the most hard-wearing, yet luxurious wool that I've ever seen. A fabric they refer to as hardcore luxury. They began by using, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, Rambue Merino wool, which has longer and thicker fibers than Spanish or Australian Merino wool. Just to give you an idea of the price such a grade of wool commands, in 2015, the raw wool most outerwear is made from sold for 65 cents per pound. The raw wool that Weather Wool uses sold for $3.23 a pound. Processing the wool into fabric is the next process. Weather wool is woven in a three-dimensional manner on jacquard looms and then napped. This creates a warm, water-resistant, and wind-resistant fabric unlike anything else out there. No cotton is used in the fabric, not even the thread, which is an oversight by most other outerwear companies. Instead, weather wool uses an abrasion-resistant hydrophobic bonded nylon thread made in the USA for the US Army. The two weights offered are full weight and mid weight, coming in at 19 and a half ounces and 12.2 ounces respectively. The anorak you see here is made from their mid weight fabric. Essentially, weather wool took the very best of nature's own tech fabric and made a sort of super fabric from it. Looking closer, you'll see even more unique details like the slot buttons attached via a strip of mil-spec nylon. This is a much stronger means of attachment compared to traditional four-hole buttons, and the tension is distributed across the entire nylon strip rather than concentrated on a small segment of thread. I've lost a few buttons off of my old Filson Mackinac Cruiser because of that old method. The buttons themselves are melamine and made at U.S. Button, an American button factory producing impact, fire, and abrasion-resistant buttons known internally as the Superman of buttons. You'll find American-made YKK zippers throughout with pull tabs to make them easier to use while wearing gloves. Of course, all those meticulous details mean nothing if the design isn't on point. And if you're impressed by the materials Weatherwool uses, just wait until you see the design. Al's Anorak was designed to be a chameleon of sorts, with features to let air flow through it or kept out. Plenty of storage and organization with minimal pockets and looks that would be at home on the battlefield, on the hunt, or around the campfire. The sleeves are long enough to pull your hands inside of to warm them up, but also feature a cinch flap with three positions that can either be worn in one direction or the other. Four buttons at the neck can be opened or closed in the style of a Henley to allow airflow or lack of it. Side zippers can be worn open to the same effect and make putting the anorak on so much easier. You can also leave the side zips open but fasten the buttons creating a secure hem with the benefit of ventilation. I'll bet these side zips work well if you're riding a quad, but I found them to be equally effective while driving a car. There is a cinch at the waist allowing you to create a draft barrier when the wind picks up or you need to batten down the hatches, or simply tighten it up to create a slimmer look. The hood is large enough to shield your face from rain or snow, but can be adjusted to maximize peripheral vision. There's also a draw cord to close it up tight if needed. The front pouch is large and sewn in a way which keeps small items from rolling out. The sides can be buttoned shut, and there is an elastic nylon interior organizer sewn to the body. 
Behind that front pouch on the inside of the anorak is a zippered pocket for things you want to keep secure and hidden. One of my favorite details are the upper chest pockets. I almost didn't see them at first since they blend into the placket design, but they zip open revealing two large pockets, the left of which features an even smaller pocket for your phone. As you can see, this is one incredibly well thought out garment. It's like every inch has been considered for adaptation and accessibility. Weatherwool actually uses the feedback from wearers to develop their garments, which explains the multifunction design details. My favorite part of reviewing a product is field testing it. Some just fall flat, others excel in their category, but a few expand the realm of possibility. Now here's where this weather wool anorak really shines. When I first came out here it was about 29 degrees, it's warmed up to about 45, now on its way to about 65, so it's a lot warmer. But the fact that I could open this thing up and really get a lot of airflow going makes a huge difference. It's the anorak is incredibly versatile. You can batten down the hatches with the hood and all that stuff if you want to. You could roll the sleeves up and just open up the sides, the placket, if you want to get some more airflow. It's amazing how versatile this thing is and, and the range of temperature that it's warm or cool in, it's just astounding. Really, this is one of the most versatile pieces I've ever used before. And the fact that it has all these little storage compartments, like I'm keeping an extra battery in the little uh, elasticized part back there. And so even though you might think that this is really just for outdoorsmen or hunters or anything like that, no, I mean, I'm out here with camera stuff and I'm able to put my smartphone there. I've got my sunglasses over here. You know, I mean, the storage on it alone is totally worth it. This right here will replace probably three or four other jackets that I have uh, and I'm not complaining. It's really incredible and totally worth the price of admission in my opinion. Of course, bushcrafters, hardcore trailblazers, and even the military have put weather wool through much harsher conditions. Just search YouTube or scour the internet and you'll find no shortage of people putting these things through hell and coming out warm and dry. For the rest of us though, this is a garment which you'll just want to wear all the time. If you're looking for the final word in wool and outdoor wear, weather wool is it. I know they're not cheap and they're not cheap because they're not cheap. I can hear the comment section now. I can't actually hear the comment section, but I can see the comment section now. Who would buy this for $600? Let me tell you what, if you had a chance to try it, you wouldn't give it back, you'd buy it. I'm telling you right now, versus anything else I've ever tried, Filson, Pendleton, um, any of those other kind of woolen outdoor brands, these guys blow them away hands down. Not just for the, the the incredibly interesting, soft, durable, warm wool, which is the you know the focal point, but also the fact that they've sorted out every single section of it. It seems like they've gone through the whole thing with a fine tooth comb based on you know feedback that they've gotten from the field and made it better and better and better. It's a really encouraging thing. Hopefully, more companies will follow suit because right now. I can't think of anything that is a true competitor to Weatherwool. This is not a sponsored video. I know some people are probably going to ask that. I'm honestly just that impressed. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click this playlist right here. There's more stuff in there that hopefully you will enjoy. And I'll catch you next time.